In this session, we'll be learning some of the basics required for understanding algorithms behind cryptography. We'll be looking at the basic operations like XOR, and we'll also understand what is left shift, right shift operations. We'll also look at what do you mean by a circular left shift operation. It's very important we understand these things because we'll be repeatedly using these operations in some of our algorithms that we'll be learning in the coming sessions. We might have learned all these things in our previous uh, classes, but still a refresher. So we look at what is a bitwise XOR operator. A bitwise XOR operator is a binary operation that takes two bit patterns of equal length and performs the logical exclusive OR operation on each pair of corresponding bits. So it's very simple. The result in each position is 1 if only one of the bits is 1, but will be 0 if both are 0 or both are 1. So what is an XOR operation? We know we let's take two bit patterns for instance 1 0 0 1 and let's take 1 1 0 1. So this is one bit pattern. This is the next bit pattern. If we perform an XOR, what it says is the output is 1 only when one of the bits is a 1. So here we have one bit to be a 1, so we give 1. When both the bits are 1s, the output is a 0. When both bits are zeros, output is a 0. When both bits are 1s, output is a 0. So when you will have a 1 in the output, only when one of the bits is a 1. So that is the XOR operation. And we call it bitwise XOR because we are working on the bits in a bit pattern. Let's take another example. Can you tell me the result of a bitwise XOR of these two bit patterns? So I have got the result here for you. So we take these uh, two bit patterns and this is the result. So what is the result? Whenever one, one of the bits is a 1, the output will be a 1. So here one of the bits is a 1, output is a 1. Both the bits are 1, so output is a 0. One of the bits is a 1, so output is 1. Again 1, again 1. Here both the bits are 1, so it's a 0. So here one of the bits is a 1, so it's 1. So this is the result of our XOR operation between these two bit patterns. Now let's take a look at bitwise left shift and right shift operations. Let's consider this bit pattern. It is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And uh, we need to left shift the pattern by 3 bits. What we'll do here is we'll discard the 3 bits in the left side. And then we'll be moving the other bits like this. So it is 0. Next comes another 0. 1. Next comes 0. And then 1. So the remaining places will be filling that with zeros. So that's how you left shift a bit pattern by 3 bits. So you're just discarding the 3 bits on the left hand side and then pushing all the bits to the left. And whatever uh, that is remaining, in the remaining places we are padding it with zeros. So what is the actual value of this? This is actually 5 represented in binary form. And what is the value of this? This is 8 and this is 32. So this is 40. So that's what is given here. So that's how left shift is performed. Now let us uh, take a look at right shift. We'll again take the value 5 in binary form given here. Right shift the pattern by 3 bits. So while you're right shifting the pattern by 3 bits, we will discard the 3 bits on the rightmost side and then we'll be pushing all the other bits to the right side. So it is 0 and then 0 and then 0 then comes this 0 and then this 0. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. The remaining uh, positions will be padding it with zeros. So when you right shift 5 in binary format by 3 bits 
the output will be 0. So what is right shifting? Just discard the rightmost uh, bits, number of bits and then push all the bits to the right hand side. The remaining places, whatever that is empty, pad it with zeros. So I have given that answer here. You can also very well check it, check this in any one of the programming languages. Say for instance, if uh, we declare in Java int a is equal to 5 and then we do a sys out of uh, this particular thing. Say if it is uh, right shifting, we just use this notation. If it is left shifting, we use this notation. So this gives the number of bits we have to left shift or right shift. So that's how you can verify the results in a programming language. For instance, here we are right shifting by three bits. So it should be a right shift operation three bits. So when you run this, your output is going to be zero. You can very well verify this. Now let us take a look at a very important concept called the circular shift. We'll be using this in our algorithms like uh, data encryption standard DES in the coming sessions. So what is this circular shift? And we'll be looking at circular left shift. So I have a bit pattern here. I want to perform a circular left shift by one bit. So what it means is I'm just going to take this bit and shift it to the end. And I'm going to push all the other bits by one place to the left. So that is a circular left shift. We're not going to discard this one bit, rather than we're going to circulate it to the end. So let's do a circular one shift of this uh, bit pattern here. So the result of a circular left shift uh, for this bit pattern by one bit is nothing but 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So what I have done is this one which was here was pushed to the end. The other bits are moved one step to the left. So that is circular left shift. We are not discarding the bits here. We are just pushing it in a circular fashion at the end. We can also perform circular left shift by any number of bits. For instance, if I want to perform a circular left shift of uh, two bits on this pattern, how will I perform that? So I'm just going to push these two zeros to the end. So what will be the result here? Then it will be 100101 zero, 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 one, and these two zeros to the end. So that is the output of a circular left shift by two bits on, on this particular bit pattern. So you should never have a confusion on what do you mean by bitwise XOR operation? And what is left shift on a bit pattern? What is right shifting by B bits on a bit pattern? What do you mean by circular left shift of one bit or two bits on a bit pattern?